What's up, everybody? Promise here with another episode of Magic Duels Battle for Zendikar. We're not, we're not even gonna fuck around, man. We're gonna get right into this. We're gonna get right into this. I'm not gonna play. I ain't playing. Are you playing? Uh, actually, wait. I, I am playing. I'm, I'm totally playing. That, that's like the whole purpose of this entire video, of this entire channel that I'm playing. We're, we're playing together. We're, well, we're not kind. Of, I mean, are we playing together? We can play together. You send me a PM. I'll play with you. Just let me know. Friend me on on Steam. I'll, I'll do it. I'll accept it. Well, I won't just accept blind friend requests. You have to, like, say, like, I'm a sub or something, and then I'll definitely friend. Like, as long as I know you're not a robot. Like, that's really the main... That's that's the big filter. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> the guy looks like a Jeff. This actually... This guy looks like um, King Arthur. That's not keepable in any way. Uh, this is much more keepable. And I go first, too. Oh, oh, this is perfect. Well, not maybe not perfect, but it's pretty good. I'm happy with it. A ton of freaking creatures. One removal. That's a little light. Uh, only one land, but, I mean, look at my hand. It's like, it's fine. It doesn't care about one land. I've got, I got a creature every freaking turn. This seems good to me. This seems great to me. Um, all right. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting into this. Uh, what was it? Jim? Jack? Jeff. Jeff. Okay, right, Jeff. Because I, I, I look at him again, and I keep thinking, like, King Arthur from Monty Python. <laughs> it's like, eh, or look, it looks like, uh, it, it does, man, I'm sorry. Or was it Life of Brian? I don't remember. I don't know, he, he looks, he, whatever. He, he looks like one of the medieval characters from uh, Monty Python. Um, I'm going to swing on in there first. I don't think uh, Black has any single color removal spells uh, other than Bone Splinters, but this I'm not worried about Bone Splinters right now. Uh, I'm going to go with another Goblin Glory Chaser. I feel like there's more damage long-term with that guy. Because he needs to put down two creatures this turn. Which I don't think he did. Or can do. Uh, so even if he puts down just one creature, I'm okay. Because I can Fire Impulse it and it's gone, baby. Gone, girl. Interesting movie, by the way. Gone, girl. Um, I don't know if I recommend it. I do. Uh, if if you're in a, a slower, uh, more interesting mood uh, that and and don't have a lot of uh, b uh, disbelief to uh, suspend, <laughs> um, it's gonna be Street Denizen. Uh, this this guy's pretty fucked right now. Uh, I got a lot of power on the board, and he needs to deal with it ASAP. If he does do land, land, languish, I will be sad. So I think I'm gonna hold off for a little bit. Oh, there goes a creature. That sucks. Well, I know exactly which one too. Yeah, oh well. Sucks to suck. Uh, I don't actually need to clear that field yet. In fact, I won't. Just in case he has the languish. Uh, instead, I'm going to swing on in for 4 damage that he cannot stop. And, hmm. Do I want to keep the fiery impulse open? Ooh. Actually, no, I don't. I want to put the goblin arsonist down. I want to get in there. Um, he's less likely to throw down a languish, uh, but it is still possible. Maybe I shouldn't have put that down. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, is this an elf deck? An elf deck would not run languish. Uh, this could be an elf deck. Okay, alright. I understand now. This is an elf deck. I'm happy. I, I have learned something. <laughs> oh, that sucks. See, if I had, if I had left Fiery Impulse open, I could have taken care of that. I could have done it, but I didn't. That's a poo-poo, guys. Guys... Lots of poo-poo. Hmm. He can double... I mean, I'm, I'm going to be able to wipe a lot of his cards. His field is going to be actually in a lot of trouble here. So let's just see what he does. He will double block something. Oh, and he needs to double block them both with the 2-2s. Two if he does a 2-2 two -two and a 1-1, and a one -one, he's fucked. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, because I'm wiping your entire field. <laughs> and that sucks to suck. Boosh. Alright. Uh, field is gone. You are down to nine. Uh, I do, at this point, need another land. Alright, that's just, just to have. Um, I still need another land. That's that's the problem. <laughs> if no land, then it's going to be a glory chaser. Uh, I'll just do this pre-combat because I don't care at this point. <sighs> He's still taking a lot of damage. 
Uh, at this point, I'm going to really think twice about twin bolting a creature because this could be going to his face and that could be a lot more relevant. It's possible. I don't know. He does need one more creature uh, and I need one more land. One more land. Come on, baby. Give me the land. Give me the chocolate. Yeah, you got the creature. I know. And you're going to hit me for two. Two. It's a poo. I know. It sucks. Life sucks. Everything sucks. He's not going to swing in. He's at seven. I need land. Come on. Uh, that's actually okay also. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. I won't be able to save my 1-1, one, one, but I can scry, so I am getting in there. Do I want to swing with both or just one? You see, if I swing with one, I can wipe his field. No, I'm doing it with both. If he wants to block the 1-1 one, one and take two, he's still going to get fucked. Shit, I didn't do it. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. All right. Oops, that was me. Sorry, my bad. Oh, wow, missing triggers. Oh, I hope that doesn't cost me the game. Oh, really don't hope... Oh, God, that... Oh, damn. That's actually a lot worse than I thought it was. Oh, no. This is bad news, guys. <laughs> this is bad news. Uh, he gets a four-drop Lord. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Well, he is picking it, right? I think he does. You may put any creature among them. It has to be that creature, right? That's the best one. Oh, he can't cast it, though. It needed two green. Hmm. Maybe I'm okay. Um, this sucks. This super sucks, actually, because now I just fucked up. Oh, God! Oh, man, this sucks. This sucks. I, I should I should have won this. He's got to double block this. No, you have to, man. You absolutely you can't do that. Yep, yeah, there you go. All right, let's not forget to do this this time. Jesus, what a dumbass. No, go to the bottom. I need to land. I mean, I got you down to five with, like, <laughs> one land, <laughs> which isn't bad. But I, I really could have played that much better. Oh, God, I could have played that better. I really fucked up. Animus Awakening, that's an awful card. You get one land, congratulations. <laughs> oh, but now he can cast that, uh, but that was his whole turn, you know, that sucks. Hopefully a land? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Hmm, Matering Bully or Dragon Fodder? Dragon Fodder, if he puts down one creature... I need more evasion than direct damage, so I think Dragon Fodder is a better play. Because then I can keep the Titan Strength open on the creature that isn't blocked, if that makes sense. I'm assuming he's only going to put down one creature here, although he uh, he could put down two. Two would be a problem for me. Uh, if they're weak, I can still hit them with uh, Twin Bolt, which would be nice. If he has another creature here... No, no, he went right to attack step. He doesn't. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay, we might be okay then. What's my other option here? Hmm. I kind of want to hit Titan Strength. Because then he's dead next turn to a Twin Bolt, and I think I win. Okay, so Titan Strength, the creature, he doesn't block, and I think I won this. I think this is over. Despite my horrible misplay. Um, nah, screw it. I don't need I don't need another creature. I'm I'm okay. And uh he's dead next turn, I think. Pretty sure of it. Unless he can gain life here. Reach doesn't matter to me. Extra elves doesn't matter to me. Uh that turn playing Animus Awakening Awakening was a total waste, so get rid of that card. You totally screwed that up. Uh also gather the pack uh, is still kinda questionable. Um that's game. So, GG, bro. Sorry, Jeff. That um, Animus Awakening. You gotta get rid of that card, man. That's a bad card, especially in a, an elf deck that makes no sense at all. That's for, like, landfall at best. The best that card can do is in a, is in a landfall deck. So, that uh, strongly recommend getting rid of that. 
he, he could if like if you think of it this way, he could have been putting down creatures, e even like one ones, like anything, anything would have been better than uh, uh, one one land that he grabbed out of that. But uh, that's what he did, and uh, it didn't cost him the game. I think he was going to lose anyway. Uh, I have a hard time seeing. Like I have a lot of outs. Um, I have a lot of ways to deal uh, to get to five damage before his elves become relevant to me. Um, so I'm, I'm, I just wasn't too too worried about it. All right, let's get on to the next game. <clears throat> uh, Professor Zappo over here with the uh, Electro Pauldrons. I'm gonna call him. Why not? Palhim. That sounds Swedish as hell. <laughs> okay, Palhim. I should go over to IKEA and ask for a Palhim. They'll probably give me a, a spatula. I go first. This is a great hand. Super great hand. Very very aggressive. I think I'm going to hit Call of the Full Moon before I put down the second Street Denizen. Call of the Full Moon is just such an aggressive card. It like you, it it forces you to just smack it. And turn two Call of the Full Moon is too damn good. <laughs> I'm not. I ain't passing that shit up, guys. Ain't happening. So we're getting in there. Oh, and we got a we we got the three damage thing. I'm I'm down to land on him, but that's okay. Not a problem. And hopefully, like maybe not in any individual game, but the games overall, you guys are noticing that I'm not getting more lands than I need. Maybe I'm getting one less land than I need, but it's just one land. You know, you can do a lot with just one land, as long as you're not keeping a no land hand, which you really really should never do. Uh, you can get by with a, a one land hand, hand. Uh, with this particular deck. Now, look at that. All my freaking cards are online, which is just insane. Um, Street Denizen. I'm going to hold off on this mountain just so I can kind of surprise him. There's no reason for me to have four mountains down. And I can always just save that up for, for no reason at all. Just to make myself look like I have more shit in my hand. Um, this is a threat. This is bad. I'm sure you guys have had this happen to you once or twice. <laughs> oh, damn. I should have Titan Strength. I forgot. Oh, no, no. I couldn't have. I put down the other guy. Yep, 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 yep. This is all correct. Uh, he needs two cards. Nantuko Husk is not going to be the card. Because Nantuko Husk is dead as soon as I have priority, which is right now. So he's gone. Sorry, Nantuko. You went goodbye -o. And so what, I'm going to put him down to three? <laughs> That's not good. Oh, he's not going to like this. If he takes off, uh, I'm, I wouldn't blame him at all. This is... Oh, that's good. <laughs> he's probably done. Yeah, uh, so he's like pretty much dead next turn. This is uncounterable, even if he had counters, which I'm sure he does not. So that's game, guys. <laughs> that was... That was some textbook red deck wins, man. <laughs> wow. One play. Well, I guess he's got another one coming for me, but I, I, I just don't see. I, nothing he does matters. I, I've got the Exquisite Firecraft in hand, uncounterable, ready to go. The only thing that can save him now is a life gain, and even then, he needs a lot of life gain because I have a ton of creatures on the. F I have five. I have nine damage coming to him next turn. He needs to survive nine damage. Uh, can I even him? I cannot even him. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes, I can. Ah, yes, I can. I'll I'll, I'll do it for the evening, guys. That's it's it, it's an art, okay? It's the principle of the thing. To take your opponent to below zero, that, that takes skill. Congratulations, you win. That's good. But to take them to zero, mm, that's an art form. That's how you want to do it, baby. That That is the true level of elegance that you need to worry about. To get evened. Oh, I, don't, I don't think it's insulting. It's just... It's got finesse to it, you know? It's got the right feeling. All right, we're, we're going into the last game here. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start talking out of my ass and, and sniffing what comes out of it because uh, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little, a little snooty. Ugh, what do we got? What do we got today? 
What is he gonna play, Mr. I don't give a shit about my avatar? Eric! That's a cute name. All right, I can, I can handle that. I feel like that's a real good D&D uh, &D name. <laughs> I don't know how many of you play D&D. Eric is deciding whether or not to take a mulligan. Okay. Uh, I've chosen not to, because this is a, a decent hand, because this is almost a repeat of the last hand. And and he's gone. He all he doesn't like it already. He, he sees it. He knows what he's up against, and he's like, uh-uh, it's not happening. I'm not even going to try. And I understand. I understand completely. Uh, going up against a deck like this with a start like I have is really tough, man. It's tough noodles. And the fact that you can tell real quickly if you're going to win uh, those coins or not uh, is probably the best boon uh, for this thing. Now, I know a long time ago when this game was first announced and I heard that they were going to be doing this coin system thing, I knew that this would be shaping the meta. All right, this is just retarded at this point. Um, and I didn't really make any promises to myself saying that I wouldn't play this. Uh, the, the, like red deck wins deck, you know, like the 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 hammering out as many coins and tokens or, or you know cards as possible and rank as possible. I didn't actually realize that they were going to have a ranking system, which I kind of like. But uh, the card system, or the coin system, I understood they were going to do. And oh, this guy's just dead as fuck. This is just this is just over. Uh, can I just kill him now? Shit, I can't. Can I? Oh God, one more damage, right? One more damage, shit. Oh well. Oh well, sure, I'll take it. No problem. Um, but I honestly thought that decks like this would be more prevalent, and it really hasn't ended up being that way. And that's surprising to me. I didn't. I, I honestly. Wow. What? What is this guy playing? What? What the hell is this? <laughs> Just a bunch of. Nothing. I mean, it's black, white, and then you got that land there that does the death touch and all that shit. Like, who cares? I don't know. Whatever. Eric, I'm sorry, bro. That's game. Okay, well, that was fast. Uh, we will get into another episode uh, right now. Man, I'm just inhaling these ranks, guys. This is just going up. Going up, 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 and up. Like uh, the American economy. Can't go down, right? All right. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next episode.